Run, 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 run. And we made it to Fetier. Got a little bit concerned there. The police got on the bus for something. I don't know what. But we are here. So people are probably curious what is there to do down here in Fetier on the southern coast of Turkey. Um, this is a really popular destination for everybody. And Fetier is also a really big area for paragliding and boating and stuff like that. So should be a really fun trip. So. Let's go explore tomorrow with whatever comes up. What's up everybody? Today we are going on a boat cruise here in Fetier. Um, it costs about 160 liras, pretty cheap, and it includes a meal for about seven hours. We leave at 10.30 and come back at around 5.30. We're gonna hit the Butterfly Valley. Um, we're gonna be doing some snorkeling, hitting the beach, things like that. So let's go explore what this cruise is all about. any reason to come to Turkey. It's for this gorgeous view here. It's beautiful. Shades of blue, turquoise waters, absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend getting a boat. What's up everybody? Today we're going to be going paragliding. Fetier has a lot of adventure sport things to do. So unfortunately again, with this paragliding thing, I can't bring this camera with me. So I'm going to try to sneak on my GoPro and see what they say. Apparently due to safety concerns or something like that, they don't allow anything to be brought. So uh, let's hope I can bring my GoPro. Because I'm going to be vlogging with the GoPro today again. So uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright, alright cause I'm free been my impressions of Fetier. Um, I've now been here for three days and I'm headed out right now. Um, Fetier is a lot more expensive than I thought it was originally going to be so uh, just be kind of on the heads up with that. So my hotel room here, it's been a really nice hotel room. Long story, I wasn't even supposed to stay here. Um, cost about $30 a night. Um, that was the cheapest I could find in all of Fetier. Um, the other main town here is about $20 a night. But with solo traveling and stuff, this made it a lot easier to get to the bus because um, I've been bussing around Turkey. Um, but it's just a little bit more expensive, everything here. The paragliding costs more. The paragliding was about 80 USD, which means still cheaper than anywhere else in the States. But um, yeah, so uh, just kind of keep that on a heads up if you ever come down here to Fetier. So uh, now we're headed to Antalya. Um, and so we've been diving here, paragliding, 
Um, Antalya is really going to be just kind of a beach and uh, figure out what's over there. Um, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I am looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the cheaper hotel rooms. My place tonight costs only $14 compared to the $30. Um, and then that'll be it of being down here in the Mediterranean. I'm only going to be down here really a week. So I made it into Antalya, um, one of the sunniest places in Turkey. It's supposed to be sunny for 300 out of 365 days out of the year. And what do I get? Like every place else I seem to go in Turkey, but rain. So uh, hopefully this stops later because I really want to go see the old town and things of that nature. But uh, for now, I just want to show you guys the rain. Guess what? It finally stopped raining about 12.15. So leaving this really small little apartment I rented for $20 a day here in Antalya. Um, so let's go explore the city to see what it all has on this, what's going to be a very sunny, a very nice and cool, beautiful day here in Antalya. So behind me is one of the most popular destinations here in Antalya. It is the Old Harbor. So let's go check out what is in the Old Harbor. Um, it's more than just boats and things like that. So first thing I noticed about the harbor are these large boats. Seems about you can take a boat trip anywhere in the Turkish coast, and it's about the same cost, about between 12 to 15 to sometimes even $20 a day for these large boat trips things. So something to remember when you come here to Antalya. Now, the other thing I'm noticing here in Antalya um, is the boats are a little bit more elaborate than they are in Petite. So they're a little bit more um, piratey. Yeah, something a little bit unique about Antalya. All right, so there isn't actually a lot to do in the old harbor. Um, it's very small, so let's go see what is up these stairs. And as you guys know, I really don't like stairs. So uh, let's do this. Alright, so it looks like we made our way into the old quarter up here. This is where a lot of the small boutique hotels are. Very sort of fancy, elegant places here in Antalya. So I uh, think I'm starting to get lost in this old town thing because um, I just ended up back in the same spot I just started. This is going to be a very confusing area if you're not uh, careful. Ooh, what's this way? Now what Antalya is really known for is being a popular tourist destination for all-inclusive resorts. Um, I was talking to a few Turkish people and they said a lot of Russians, Ukrainians um, come here and they're pretty cheap. Um, looked on TripAdvisor and the resorts kind of average between $60 to $200 a night depending on which one you went to. So it wasn't too expensive um, for an all-inclusive resort stay. I wish I could have had more time here, maybe tried one out, but I just don't have the budget and that's just not gonna happen. So uh, yeah, this is kind of a beautiful little area of Antalya. Um, very boutique-ish, if that makes sense. It's honestly beautiful. It's so green, so purple. The colors are so vibrant. There are musicians everywhere. The water's extremely blue, um, sometimes green. Just fountains everywhere. Um, I'm just amazed at sort of the Mediterranean vibe that this place is putting off. But it's just absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to keep exploring um, just to see what is all here. I'm gonna actually probably eat at a restaurant and uh, watch a sunset. So uh, yeah, let's keep doing this. Now, this is a first here in Antalya. I don't think I've ever seen a public park that actually has Wi-Fi. Um, and you can charge your phone here. So uh, let's check to see if it actually does have Wi-Fi. Um, because that's what's important. Actually, yeah. It has Wi-Fi. So, uh, the parks here in Antalya have Wi-Fi and charging ports for your phone. 
kind of cool. Just walking around and it's just amazing. Um, the streets are really clean. Um, for the most part, like cleaner than Istanbul for sure. Just sunny, people are smiling, happy. Um, you can definitely tell it's not the normal times because there's probably a lot less people here. But I mean, it's just a relaxed, probably the best vibe I've received. Um, I don't know if it could be Chinakale, but it definitely comes close here in Antalya. Um, prices are cheap. Yeah, it's pretty dang cool. All right, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here in Antalya for this episode. Antalya is beautiful, I highly recommend it. Just come check it out sometime because I, 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 I think this has been my favorite place in all the Mediterranean. So thank you Antalya for being such a great place to stop for a little bit. We have one more vlog left here in Turkey. I will surprise you guys with that next week. But it's definitely been a good experience. Thank you very much to everybody who's made it a good experience. And I'm looking forward to the next week.